Papa Nurtured's Auto Repair. Today I'm going to show you how to check, check for injector pulse. What we're going to do, we're just going to get a, a test light. We're going to connect the test light up to the battery. Somehow. We're going to make sure the test light works. Green light for your ground. There's your red light for your positive. Then you're going to go over to the injector. One of your leads will be a constant hot from the PCM, and the other will be your pulse. That's your pulse wire. You see how it's flashing? That's your injector pulse right there. We're going to go to the other terminal. And there's your steady positive. And you go back. And then that's your ground pulse. That's how you check injectors electrically. That's all there is to it. And you can check the actual injector. can check your actual injector ohms because you're obviously gonna check your your meter you can hear that when you touch the lead so you're getting continuity through your leads It's usually it's different for different manufacturer different but it's usually around 12 to 15 ohms I've seen on different different vehicles and you can actually see that injector to test the solenoid I don't know if you heard that because they were right by the engine but you can put 12 volts directly positive and negative from the battery to the injector to test it mechanically to make sure it does fire but do not touch the leads together or you're going to burn out your your fuel injector driver and your PCM. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.